Hello, welcome to the HR Diary. In this video, I will show you how to use Excel's four round functions. The round, round down, round up, and M round. I will also show you how to round to two decimal place or one decimal place, how to round to the nearest whole number, and how to round to the nearest 10 and nearest 100. In column B here, I have some numbers with decimal points. So how can we round these numbers to an integer? Now you may think that we can just select this number, go to the Home tab, and then this number group, and remove the decimal points by clicking on to Decrease decimals, decimal, one time, two time, three time. So if I do that, it looks like I've removed the decimal point and you see the number one, 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 triple one. But does this cell really have the number triple one in it? No. You take a look at this cell. When you select the cell and look up the formula bar, you will see that the number triple one point one two three is still there. There's still this point one two three there. The formula bar always shows you the actual contents of the cell. Now, if I add the contents of this cell to another cell, the decimals zero point point one two three will also be added in. So. You can't just use this approach. Now I'm going to undo that by clicking onto this cell. Just now I click decrease decimal. Now I'm going to click on to the increase decimal. One time, two time, three time. All right. To revert it back to here. So now let's see how to use this round function. And I want to round it to two decimal places. The round function rounds a number to a specific number of digits. Unlike the round down, round, round up function, the round function can either round up or round down. The round function follows the typical rounding convention. If the decimal part of the number is below 5, then it will be rounded down. If it's 5 and above, it will be rounded In this example here, I want to round this number triple one one two three to two decimal places. To do this, type equal round left parenthesis and select this cell here that you want to round. Put a comma and I type in two because I want to round to two decimal places. Close parenthesis, the right parenthesis, and tap enter. So I'll get this number, triple one point one point one two, which is rounded to two decimal places because I wanted rounded to two decimal places. So from three decimal places is rounded to two decimal places. So next. Here, I want to round this number to one decimal place. To do that, type equal, left parenthesis, select this cell that you want to round, put a comma, and because I want to round to one decimal place, I type in the one here, close parenthesis, and hit the enter key. Oops. All right, so, oh, I forgot to put the, uh, the word round, all right? So I need to type the word round and point to this cell B5 and round to one. And when I hit enter, I get this number, triple one point one, which is rounded to one decimal place. 
So next, I want to round this to the nearest whole number. So to do this, type equals round, left parenthesis, and select the cell that I want to round, type in the comma, and to round to the nearest whole number, type in the zero. Zero. All right. Right parenthesis and tap enter. So I'll get triple one, which is rounded to the nearest whole number. Next. In this example, I want to round this number to the nearest ten. To do this, type equals round, open parenthesis, select this cell that I want to round, and type in the comma, type negative 1, all right? Type negative 1 if you want to round to the nearest 10. Right parenthesis and hit enter. So I will get 110 which is rounded to the nearest, which is this number rounded to the nearest 10. So next, if I want to round this number to the nearest 100, type equals round, open parenthesis, select the number that I want to round, type in the comma, and round to nearest 100 is negative 2. So you type in the negative 2, close parenthesis, and hit enter. So I'll get the number 100, which is this number rounded to the nearest 100. So I've shown you how to use the round function and round it to two decimal place, one decimal place, round to the nearest whole number, round to the nearest 10, and round to the nearest 100. So now let's move on to here. Now let's recap how to use the round function. So unlike the run down function, the round function, unlike the round down and the round up function, the round function can either round up or round down. The round function follows the typical rounding convention. So if the decimal of a number is below five, then it's rounded down. If it's five and above, it's rounded up. So now if I want to round this number, I will type equals round left parenthesis, I select this cell that I want to round, type in the comma, and type in the zero, right? Because I want the to round to the whole nearest whole number, right parenthesis, and hit enter. You will see 535. Five. You will see this, um, this number, 535.23, is rounded down to 535 because the decimal part here 0 0.23 is below 5. So now if I drag this down, you will see that this number 78.77 is rounded to 79 because the decimal part is above 5, so it's rounded here. All right, so you can see this formula. This formula, I've put in the formula here. Now let's move on to the round down function. Round down will round a number down, will round a number down. So in this example, I want to round down this number. So to do this, type equals round down, open parenthesis, and I'll Select this number, type in the comma, type zero, type right parenthesis, and tap enter on your keyboard. So you will see 535. Five. Right? So th this number 535.23 five is routed down to 535. Five. So if I drag this down, you see a different result, all right? You see that this number 78.77 is 
rounded down to 78. But if you use the round formula, this is rounded up to 79. So if you use round down, it's rounded down to, this is rounded down to 78. Now let's try the round up function. So to round this number up, type equals round up. Open parenthesis, select this cell, type in the comma, type zero, type the right parenthesis, and hit enter. So using the round function, you can see that this number was rounded down to 535. But using the round up formula, you will see that this number is rounded up to 536. So now I'll drag this down. And you can see here. So now, this number was rounded up to 79 using the round up formula. Now let's move on to M round, this M round function. What is M round? M round returns a number rounded to the desired multiple. Here, this example, I want to round this with a multiple of 5. So to do this, type equals M round, left parenthesis, click onto this cell B12, comma, and I want to use a multiple of 5. So I type in the 5 here. Right parenthesis and tap enter. So I will get 5, 3, 5. So what is happening here is Excel is looking at this number and rounding it either up or down until it hits a multiple of 5. So here, 535.23 5, 3 was rounded down to 535. 3, to get a multiple of 5. So it looks like I get the same exact results as the round 535 as well as the round down. But if I apply this formula down the spreadsheet by dragging this down, you will see a very different result. For this number 78.77, Excel rounded it up by a multiple of 5 to 80. So now, here I was using a multiple of 5 here, right? Where I rounded this number with a multiple of 5. So I can round this with a multiple of 10 instead of 5. So by changing this number to 10. All right, and I will get 540. Here, this number 535.23 was rounded up to 540 using a multiple of 10. So now, if I want to round this number with a multiple of 0, so we type this in as 0, I'll get a number 0. Why? Because the multiple of 0 is 0. So let's put this back to 10. All right, if I want to get a multiple of 10. All right, so in this video, I have shown you how to use these four round functions, the round, round down, round up, and M round. Thanks for watching. If you are not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you will get notified about similar videos that we upload. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel.